A scorcher 105 degrees in the bay today on a restretch in downtown San Jose. My customer Mark put this carpet in seven years ago and started seeing the ripples form about 2017. He was contemplating replacing before he saw my ad online. The key to restretching is to make sure the tack strip is secure, lock the carpet on the pins along one wall, and power stretch towards the opposite wall parallel to the ripples, all while stretching at a slight angle towards the corner of the room. This will move the carpet away from the door jams and angled fireplaces, but can be repaired with a bonded insert. Just watch out for spiders. Carpet ripples tend to darken as dust accumulates in the creased folds, so after stretching, I like to scrub over them. Wow, Josh, it's like I have brand new carpet, Mark went on. And with a carpet cleaning scheduled, I'll get the best ROI. Glad I didn't replace. Me too, I said. And here are your ripples. Serious talk today about the lies and misconceptions Big Carpet is relaying to their customers regarding the reason carpet loosens and forms ripples and bubbles everywhere. For my customers Dean and Debbie and their multi-poo lucky, they've been deceived. We thought it was due to humidity or our vacuum. Wish I could say they're the exception to this line of reasoning, but I'm afraid all too often they're the rule. Debbie explains to me that they've done this once before by the original installers who were reluctant to come out. They didn't have that stretchy machine, just those knee bumper thingies. I don't remember them redoing any door seams either and they were only here an hour. It's a lot of work. The carpet has to be opened up, tack strip reinforced and methodically stretched to corners of each room and reseamed at hall doorways. Big Carpet lied to us, Dean realized, and asked that I make this PSA in hopes that no one gets misled again. So if your carpet guy doesn't power stretch, hire yourself a professional mensch. Hi, this is Sherry, and we had you come and stretch a couple rooms for us way back when. And uh, gosh, they've been great ever since. So um, thank you for that. And we have another room now that needs carpet stretching and that's in our bedroom. You got it, Sherry, no problem. Kicking carpets or stretching them, which is more effective? Let's see what we did here. Are you kidding me? Look at this, ripples. Let's try it again, this time with the right knee. Jumping, I'm hopping into it. I got ripples to Power stretcher, tubes set up, brace against the wall. Oh, yeah. Look at what we have here already. Look at this. That takes time. There you go, knee kicking versus power stretching.